You know, I kind of want to go out and do something today. I've been wanting to do something for weeks, but uh, procrastination, of course. But I just don't know where to go exactly. There's nothing really good around here. Actually. This place is gonna be so insanely packed. It was super hard to find parking, so. Okay, I was walking through the woods and I found this pretty sick spot here. So I think this is where we're gonna be for a bit. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about today is the Rode Video Micro. See if this is a, still a viable option in 2021. <sighs> this place is so gorgeous. I mean, as far as sitting on rocks go, I mean, this is pretty comfortable. Okay guys, so yeah, we're talking about the Rode Video Micro. This is a great little microphone. It's only about 40 bucks, so that's really, really cheap. So I picked this mic up originally for my second wedding. The first wedding that I did, I did everything all on camera mic, and this is how that sounds. It's not very good, especially when you need to add some denoisers. You have no room to work with at all on that. So yeah, my second wedding, I picked this up, and it is a ton better. Let me, uh, let me show you what it sounds like. Okay, so now this is what it sounds like with the Rode Video Micro. It should sound a ton better than what was on the camera because on-camera microphones are never the best. You never want to rely on on-camera microphones for your sole audio for a big event like something that is a wedding. Or even for YouTube, having something like this is great because it'll just take your audio up to the next level. So it's at the point where it's not horrible to listen to. You can actually listen to it and not want to throw up. I mean, it sounds pretty good. It's a lot better than what was on my camera, and especially when you have a lot of wind. This comes with a wind sock or a dead cat, whatever you want to call it. So it really eliminates on a lot of that wind noise that you'd be getting in your audio. See, we have a slight breeze right now, so this is what the wind sock on. Okay, well, first off, uh, Editor Micah here. Uh, I don't know why I kept calling it a wind sock because it's not a wind sock, it's a dead cat. Uh, this is a wind sock. Yeah, it, this should show you how much I actually know. Um, secondly, subscribe for some really awesome tips that I know. Well, let's take it off. Alright, and this is no windsock. There's a slight breeze, and I'm not sure how that's going to translate on camera, but we'll see in the editing room. Okay, again, everything that you're hearing is straight out of camera with the Rode Video Micro. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to add some dynamics to it, just add an EQ. So my voice should sound a bit better. And let's add a denoiser right now just to try to get rid of all this background noise that's happening. So we're going to see what we can do, see uh, how far we can push it in the editing room. So hopefully it doesn't sound too bad, but let's go ahead and add the windsock back on. Dead cat. Okay, so that should cut down on a ton of that really annoying wind noise. So let's go ahead. This, again, this is out of camera, no editing done to the audio whatsoever with the Rode Video Micro with the dead cat on. All right, so now let's add a denoiser. So hopefully all the background audio isn't going to sound too loud. Hopefully we can turn it down in post. So now we're going to switch over to something that people doing professional audio would use. This Tascam DR10L that I have on me right now. So now my voice should sound a whole lot better. And if I walk away, I can be over here and you're still capturing audio of what I'm saying. Now I can talk as far away as I want because the microphone is on me. Now if I switch over to that mic, over there you can see it sounds really, really far away. And I kind of have to yell to be picked up on the camera. I think I'm blocking somebody's fishing spot, so we're gonna move somewhere real quick. In my opinion, this mic is perfect for the people that want a budget mic but don't want to spend $200 on getting something like a Rode Video Mic Pro or the DAD microphones. It's a great budget mic and I highly recommend it. All 
All right, so we're meeting up here in, in a bit with a friend from uh, a place called uh, Real Life. Uh, you might have heard of it. And uh, we're gonna hit those Cucumber Falls. It's gonna be pretty epic. So I think this microphone is really, really great for the people that are vlogging, the people that are going to be doing YouTube at all. It's really, really cheap, and especially if you're starting out, it's a really, really cheap option, which is really, really great when you are starting out. Oh dear. There's the dumb man. Yes. The person who can't give the directions is behind Okay, you know the what? You need to back off. human being just out here ruining all these beautiful noises can't listen to the water you're utterly useless just what is wrong with you why are you even here like seriously just... I, I paid you good money to be respectful to me to be nice okay just for this video okay. after that well, I don't care your meter just ran out buddy Okay, so I think the park is supposed to be closed right now and I think we're supposed to be out of here, so I think I better head home and then we can finish the video from there. Oh! <laughs> I am so tired. So the last main point that I wanted to bring up about the Rode Video Micro is the effect on battery life. So your higher end microphones will have a dedicated battery inside of the mic, say like a AA battery, and the mic will be powered by those batteries. However, on the Rode Video Micro, there's no battery on it, which means it's powered by your camera, which does affect your battery life, sadly. So to give some perspective on how much battery it actually uses, I have a Canon 200D, and without the Rode Video Micro, just using the microphone that is built in on the camera, I got about an hour and 15 minutes of record time before the camera powered down, asking me to change the battery. However, when I used the Rode Video Micro, I got about an hour and 10 minutes of record time. So you're losing about five minutes there, give or take. Now it's gonna be totally different depending on the camera that you use, if it's really power efficient or if it's really not. So your results are definitely gonna vary. But honestly, since it's so big of an upgrade from the onboard microphone, I definitely think it's worth it. So basically to sum up the video, if you're looking for a really cheap microphone that sounds really, really good, definitely consider looking at this microphone. It's really great. Again, highly recommend it. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, just totally let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Again, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you have a microphone, let me know how it's working for you. All right, you guys have fun. Uh, I would say I'm gonna go make some coffee, but I already made the coffee. I'm gonna go make more coffee. Yeah, that's a good idea.